Chapter 19 The Other Nine Wood Hills What is this? The path that will take you to the Crystal Tower. <laughs> Who are... Follow that path, and you will find the answers you seek. Answers? Luce Farna. Huh? If you wish to find her, you must brave the Crystal Tower. Then our mom's up there somewhere? She's still alive? The four keys you collected give you the right to know. If you have the courage. <gasps> She's a vanished! Who in the grimoire was that? Rain, I'm going. Wait. Well, what for? Why did that woman tell us all that? She must have had a reason. Well, how in the honk am I supposed to know? Does that mean you're gonna quit? After everything? No, I just... <sighs> Come on! Think about it! There's something funny about Grimoire. Well, yeah, I'll admit it's kind of weird. I mean, it's full of little people and... No, I'm not talking <laughs> about that. That's racist. The prophecies. They treat us like characters in some kind of story. It feels like someone wrote out a plan, and you and I are just going along with it. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Rain, you are really overthinking this. You're underthinking it. I... Okay. Maybe you are right about that. But don't act like this story is writing itself. We almost died a bunch of times. If we hadn't collected so many mirages, we never could have made it this far. The way I see it, we did that all on our own. It wasn't pre, uh, Tama? I think maybe the word you the want is preordained? That's the one. There's no way it could have been preordinated. Uh -huh. Come on. Or predestified, right? Uh, all of this is starting to make my vocabulary the hurt. Well, one thing's for sure. We have no choice. Echo did say that there was no changing the prophecy. Rain? Okay, let's head for the Crystal Tower. Oh, okay. Is there a gate near our map here? Oh, there's probably a gate at the top. Let's go. I kind of want to do the other stuff first. You know, like, stuff with armor gems. Say, uh, the stairs here aren't going to do anything crazy like collapse, right? Let a little thing like that to stop you. You do know we can't fly, right? The nonary region. It's gonna take us to a boat. We're gonna get some sweet watches. Huh? How did we wind up back home? We the didn't. Take a closer the look. Yeah, it's similar but not the same. It's... Old-fashioned, I guess you might say? Yeah. And unlike Ninewood Hills, this is a real ghost town. Well, I'm really interested in uh, the story that's going to develop from here. If we put off these side quests any longer, there's going to be too many, and then I'm going to complain that there's too many to do. So let's go and do that. As you can tell, the st we're getting into the, the nitty-gritty part of the story here, so... Well, it's a good time now? to do this. Hey, what's up, worst character? Which How you doing? Or, I'm sorry, that's mean. <laughs> You'd have to be a character for that to work. Uh, let's trade in some. Uh. Uh, uh. Actually, I can play favorites here. Uh, Shulk, you can come... Uh, you and you. I'll save Titus because I've seen Titus in the demo. We'll pick up these three. Ba -da -da! <laughs> Sorry. Every time it gets me. Goodbye. Every fucking time. Da -da -da! Fucking. We can show these off almost immediately. Okay, so. Let's see. Salus. And then we can get Cloud. Cloud costs two because he's a prick. And then, oops. Apparently, I forgot how the menu works and just thought I was still in the selecty thing. 
And then, uh, and then Shulk. Restore HP and remove all negative status effects. Also removes the positive status effects from enemies. You are cute. It's great. She looks 10, but Shulk is actually legal. It's, it's the dream of all men who want to fuck children. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to do a quest and pretend. I would tell myself to cut that part out, but let's be honest. I'm too lazy. Let's see. A friendship forged in Figaro. Vivi's cut ties with the Federation and remains in Figaro to swear allegiance to Edgar. Together with the Black Mages, they have fought hard to protect Figaro, but there are still some who view them with distrust. Vivi, you have awakened as a champion, and I believe you have washed your hands of the Federation. However, there are many in Figaro who view an army of black mages, and one that served Bahamut, with considerable suspicion. Can you offer us your allegiance all the same? Edgar, sir. I know it's just words, but I've heard enough about what the Federation's done to understand that it's not right. Maybe I can help you somehow, or maybe I can't. All I can tell you is that I'm willing to try. I'm going to prove myself to you and to your people. Eloquently stated, yes, they'll warm to you soon. King Edgar, why? You've ordered the Black Mages on yet another mission? Yes. With them out in the field, your men can stay here and get some much-needed rest. Think happy thoughts. You're refusing to see the problem at all! I tell you, sire, you are far too trusting of them. Those things started out as mirages. And for all we know, they're still spying on us. I'll just have to keep an eye on them for the both of us. I beg of you. Do not allow their cunning to win you over. Stay vigilant, sire. Really now, spying on us. Well, maybe we should be able to weather it. Oh, it's the captain. Hello, sir. Are you on patrol? You work so hard. Huh? You're that... Listen here. I have a few words for you and... Oh, this beautiful flower. You can have it if you like. Hmm? Uh, oh. It's so strange. I thought Figaro was nothing but desert, but that isn't true at all now, is it? And we wouldn't have such pretty flowers if the kingdom's finest weren't out there bravely defending the castle. Ah! Oops, I'm gonna be late for training. Pardon the intrusion, sir. It is a lovely flower. It's a shame they didn't render a flower <laughs> so Dad, we Vivi, can see them. You just can't help but like the kid, you know? Thanks to the Black Mages, Figaro's defenses are stronger than ever. We're lucky to have him around. <sighs> I'm not unreasonable, and I never told anyone the Black Mages aren't capable. I just... I just want everyone to play things on the safe side. Oh, Captain Sir, I already cleaned up around there a while ago. But if it still needs work, I'll be happy to give it another go. What? Oh, oh is that so? Fine work, I'm sure. You just run along now. Go on, uh, get some rest. Okay. Captain, sir? Oh no! Your uniform got torn. Want me to stitch it up for you later? What? Oh, uh... Thank you. Wow, sir! Look at your hands! They're so huge! <laughs> oh my god! Hey, Captain! Hey, Captain! Hey, Captain! Hey, Captain! Hey, Captain! What has gotten into me? I'm like a man possessed. I can't get Vivi out of my head. You know what? 
I'll suck it up and just say it. We need him. He's become an indispensable member of our kingdom. King Edgar could see it. He was completely right about the boy. What a resilient lad. <laughs> I salute you, Vivi. Mine is a hard mind to change. King Edgar, why? You've ordered the Black Mages on yet another mission? Yes. Uh, considering the operation at hand, I felt that their ranged magic would be the best fit. I understand your reservations, but you need to learn to trust Vivi and the other You're Black refusing Mages. to see the problem at all! You're putting them in too much danger, sire! How can you foist all the hardest missions on them? Huh? If anything were to happen to the Black Mages, it would be a devastating loss for the Kingdom of Figaro! My men will join them, sire. Just watch. We will keep them safe. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get ready. What in the world is going on? Edgar, the Black Mages are ready to leave at any time. Hmm. <laughs> you are a sly one, Vivi. Huh? Oh, never mind. Listen up. Today, the Castle Guard will be deploying with you. Don't let them down. I knew that I was right to place my trust in them. The Black Mages and Figaro are going to be fast friends. Still, how did Vivi win the captain over? Huh. There was literally nothing in there that I had to play? What now? That was it was just... I didn't intervene in any of that. I mean, sure, why not? Make it easy for me, I guess. Hunt down some treasure. Barts and Boko arrive at Nether Nebula and search for treasure. First thing is simple, cross this Riku. The two hit it... Oh, God. <laughs> Ifrit meets his... Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, this this can only be more retarded. Look at this place. I smell an adventure, Boko. Point. Hold it right there. The treasure in this cave belongs to me. Hey, you're more than welcome to it for all I care. I'm here for the thrills, and that's about it. I've got it. You can have the treasure, but let's team up. It'll be way more fun with the two of us. I can keep it all? Let's get this show on the road. My name's Riku, and you're... But This is Boko. The pleasure's ours. Wow! This place rules! Aren't you just, like, super excited? Yeah. I bet the treasures in here are gonna blow our minds. Treasy, wazy, treasy, wazy, la 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 la. What's that? What insolent fools dare trespass upon Ifrit's hallowed domain? You shall rue this intrusion for the remainder of your soon to be shortened lives. Whoa, intense! What a slick looking mirage! Yeah, he looks really strong. He's all like burn and stuff. <sighs> That's strange. Shouldn't they be cowering in fear? I said I am a freak! Leave this place now, or I will roast the flesh off your bones! Bart, Sparts! Don't you realize what this means? A guardian! Now we know the cave is packed with loads of awesome treasure! I was about to say, you sure know your rules of adventure. Strong foes always position themselves in front of the important loot. These pipsqueaks, are they enjoying themselves? You fools! Turn back now, I will not warn you again! I'll stay out of this! Oh my gosh, did you just... 
I don't believe it. You saved our lives? Huh? No, I... If Freak just saved us from that mirage! Come on, Barts. We can't let him do all the work! Yeah! It's our turn to save him! What? But I... Uh, <laughs> what? I wasn't trying to help you. I was just trying to... Oh, my lord. Whoa. Who knew that Efreet was such a nice guy? I guess that none of them did get it. Don't want Bariku and Barts in with Lon. Oh. He's on a different level. You make a good point. Huh? What are you guys talking about? Hmm. Use physical attacks. Oh, we can get him. Ooh, and he's an XL. Awesome. Uh not fuck it, cloud. Oh no. Let's see how it does. This hurts a lot. Ooh. Well, he's open for capture. I'm on my second attempt, but I thought I'd show off Shulk's animation. This guy is giving me a lot of crap. He does not want to be caught. Counter -tech. Oh, that helps. Well, back to the grind. Oh my god. All right. That took an embarrassing amount of time. I don't feel like divulging. 20 minutes. <laughs> the legendary brute comes complete with twice the ferocity and thrice the anger management issues of its relatively calmer kin. Walks on two legs to show its ripped abs. Some of these. Some of these, man. I'm gonna name him Greg. What's up, Greg? We're here. Uh, I guess we'll replace Get Cucked for now. Your cave will be safe now! Thanks, Ifrit! You're the best kind of friend we could ask for! Look! You really have the wrong idea! I can't go stealing from such a stand-up guy! I promise to leave your treasure alone! Okay? You keep it! I agree! Not after he rescued us, cause that would just be bad form! Uh, it is true! Your... Uh, your burning passion has moved me. I could not allow your fires to be snuffed out. And just so you both know, there was never any treasure here to begin with. What? So it's a bust? Oh man, that's no fun. Hey, chin up, Riku. Next time, huh? There are other caves. You're right. Hopefully, they've got some fierce mirages. Protecting some awesome treasures, cause nothing else will cut it. Bingo. 
It's too bad if Freak wasn't a vicious guardian. Those always show up before the loot. You know how this stuff works. Yeah, and they got a taunt. Something like, I will knock you all down, or whatever, before they run at you like a maniac. But I'm in this for the long haul. Somewhere out there, awesome treasure is waiting just for me. You said it, Riku. That's the spirit. I hate both of them. like that before. Who are those two? They're dumb. That's who they are. Hey, hey, how's it going? Raise seed. The black chocobo. SOS chocobo in danger. The chocolate sim. Oh. Oh. I'm not reading the rest. Um. No. Master, are you certain that it came from here? This SOS from the chocobo sounds pretty far fetched if you ask me. Yes, I know that's what you told me, but we've scoured the area and I don't. Huh? Boko, you sure that black chocobo's part of it? What? Those chocobos have been worked to the bone. You're right about one thing. We have got to set them free. What? Hey, Master! Did you hear that? That young man is going to save the chocobos. Come on! Hold on a minute. That chocobo is Hyperion. What is he doing here in Grimoire? Hey, Beaky! What do you want with all these chocobos? Oh no. You know, this black chocobo's got a memorable name. Seraphie once told me that there was a chocobo of that name and color, that the made a name for himself at a place called the Gold Saucer. Wow, I love amusement parks. <laughs> Wait, how did you know it's an amusement park? I... God damn this writing. Oh. Uh, oh, you can't be caught. I'm gonna... Save me! <laughs> Claude, save me! Please save me! It's an emergency. Do the cool thing. Ow, this poor boy. Okay, that's half its health. Okay, Mega Phoenix. Oh. They didn't die. Fucking... They did die. Please don't attack them. Oh, stretch legs? I'm cool with that. There, unload. This guy's actually hard. You'll make a wonderful addition to my... Boom. All right. Whew. We did it. What a piece of crap. Phew. We did it, Boko. But I don't get it. What was that Chocobo's problem? Okay, guys. You're free to go. Oh. Who are you? Chocobo Kalina! <gasps> oh, I'm uh, just a regular old passerby. <laughs> Plain as they come. <laughs> I have to say, you are really something. It takes one tough ombre to handle Hyperion. And I suppose Hyperion must be that black Chocobo from before? I tell you, that thing was more behemoth than Chocobo. And it's not often that Boko gets openly hostile toward anything. And by Boko, I mean this fella. 
I'm but Bert. and you are my name is Chocolate. I can see Boko is very smart. That, and he seems to have the same keen senses as my master. Master? Hmm. Say, Bart, if you're planning a long journey, why don't you visit my shop before you go? I carry just the kind of items an enterprising adventurer needs. And I want to ask you more about those chocobos, too. Wow. You should have said that you run your own shop. Sure, we'll take you up on the offer. Right, Boko? Uh -huh. Oh, perfect. Right this way. Choco Boko Ching! So, I meant to ask, why are you able to understand what Boko says? <laughs> Me and Boko just have a special connection. Uh -huh. What was that? We will never know. There we go. Give me a heal. I don't think I healed last time. That probably didn't make things easier. Hello! What now? What now? A fucking baseball bat to your skull. Let's uh, intervene more. Uh, hunt the dangerous Mirage. Alright. Involves snow. Is this the place? That mirage menace has got to be close now. So, oh, <laughs> wasting no time, I see. You're going down. Ah! Oh! What the? What? <laughs> you lunatic! I'm sorry, I thought you were a mirage. Last I heard, there was a real dangerous one prowling the area. You're the only danger here. Do you always lunge at strangers without thinking? I said I'm sorry. So, let's roll. Uh, where are you headed? Hmm? You say that as though you actually believe I'll let you come along with me. Well, of course I am. A dangerous mirage is on the loose in this forest. It's not safe to be wandering around by yourself. What a hero. You know, I'm perfectly capable of handling- So, it's settled. I'm Snow. And you? Oops. Celeste. You know, it's rude to- Celeste, huh? I like it. Okay, off we go. Interrupt. So tell me about this mirage. Well, according to the villagers, the thing's supposed to be some kind of colossal beast. Somebody's got to step up and do something about it. And you let them talk you into hunting it? <sighs> Birds! Show yourself! No. What was that? Again? No. What have we here? So you're the mirage everyone's talking about. Oh yeah, you look like trouble to me. Am I seeing things? Parts? Is that you? Something's different about you, is it the hair? Well, you're done <laughs> scaring the villagers. I'm putting you down right now. Nice try. You'll need more than an extreme makeover to pull the wool over Gilgamesh's eyes. Oh, I see. I'll bet it was you that set that vicious monster on me before. Any last words? Listen to you. It's like you're having separate conversations. Hey, Gilgamesh, right? Do you think that monster that attacked you could have been- I haven't waited to stay a hundred years! Oh my it's god. Over, Your reign of terror is over! This is insane. Yeah, let's fight him again. Okay, Gilga Fresh, get ready for a <laughs> fistful of lawn. Uh, first of all, Lon, you need to pay better attention to people's names. Second of all, Gilgamesh, has he even noticed that he's fighting against us now? I don't think so. I've got this. <laughs> Poor Celeste. She's surrounded by idiots on all sides. No, don't lambaste me. That actually did a lot of damage. Stand back while I handle this. Ooh, you were just picking on him. I'm gonna have to heal again. Do you need me? Man, I could really use some champions about now. 
I'd summon Greg, but it'd be a waste. He's level one right now. <laughs> Haven't even attempted to upgrade him yet. Ah, fuck it, defend it. Let's get this started, kids! <laughs> what a dope. <laughs> That's it, backup plan items. Uh, even items aren't doing that good. <laughs> I think we're fucked. to do that, didn't you? You f Oh, you fucking bitch. Oh, not the lamb base again. You are the worst. Ah, Shulk's a waste. It's just a heal. You know, as much as I clearly need, need healing all the time, I... Offense is what I'm Let's looking get for. This started, kids. I'm not a fan of this guy anymore. He's kind of a dick. Oh, good, he got Excalibur. And that did a shit ton of damage because Petty Grudge does a lot of damage based on how much damage we've been dealt. And uh, he hurt us for a while. Ugh. Man. Fucking Gilgamesh. He's missing teeth. That's what happens to mirages that misbehave. The villagers want you gone, so tough luck. Huh? Sorry? Villagers? Just stop! Listen, Snow. Huh? What are you doing? Don't tell me you're on his side. Would you just settle down? Listen when people talk to you. Hey, buffoon. Who? Me? Earlier, you mentioned that some vicious monster attacked you, right? What did the thing look like? Um, I suppose that I would describe it as a colossal beast. But it met a quick end at the hands of Gilgamesh and his mighty blade. Snow, do you see now? That dangerous mirage is gone. And you, Gilgamesh, this isn't the person you've been looking for. His name's Snow, not Bart's. Well, well when you point it out, he seems dangerous, but doesn't look especially beast-like. Whoa! So, Bart's is someone else? I just knew that something was off. Oh, that was my bad, Gargle Musher. Man, you totally had me fooled there. <laughs> I like your style. You may not be Bart's, but you're just as worthy an opponent. I had the wrong guy, but you put up a good fight. Like your style. Do they even hear each other? Any tough guy willing to go around with me? Hey, we are now bros. Bros, you say? Bros. I like the sound of that. Man, the two of us must have been destined to go head to head today. Do you think we, like, knew each other in some past life? No, not that I remember. Then, have you ever been a frog? No, not that I remember. They deserve each other. I'm being mentally and physically drained by these. 
Soon I'm gonna be a husk with no redeeming qualities. Like this girl. Uh, give me that. Alright, and can I still not do this one about Anna Crow? I, I guess I might not be able to straight up because it's too high a level. That might be why. Let's see. Yeah. So I think you can't do that one because it's five star. So they expect you to be end game ready for it. Okay. Well, we're uh, we're done with those then. How long have I been rolling? Uh, that's twenty. That's twenty three. And this is about. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. I'm gonna make uh, all these quests one video. So we will end here. This will probably be longer than thirty minutes, but whatever. Next time, we climb the Crystal Tower. Until then, thank you so much for watching. More World Final Fantasy. See you later. Bye-bye.